EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Rams. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Okay. And the Rams now coming out on the field. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. Number Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Here's gone. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack to Sean Gibson. Give him the sack on the safety blitz. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. Got him in, it's Brown. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bears take over. Another chance here to see what the Chicago Bears can do offensively, and Charles, they got the win at Detroit in week one, 27 to 23, a very important week one victory for them. Yeah, there was a late drop by DeAndre Swift that probably could have changed the fortunes of that game, but nonetheless, a road victory in the division. And the quarterback situation in Chicago always seems to be a topic, but Mitchell Trubisky was the guy, and when things got down at the End, he made the magic happen. And I love how they stuck with him despite the fact they acquired Nick Foles. And many people thought Nick Foles would be the starter when they began. But this, as Trubisky struggled a bit in this game, they stayed with him. And boy, were they rewarded. Three fourth quarter touchdown passes. The Bears came from 17 down to win. And now, how about the optimism that reigns? They host the Giants this week, and they are running up. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and he told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. 39 yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And the Rams are going offense here with the first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. The tackle by Robert Quinn. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll get 
set this one up to about the 39 here. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. He saw the linebacker make the stop. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. This is Brown on the draw play. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Brings up second and five at the 47-yard line. From the 47, it's second and five. They'll try the air now with Goff. Out of the backfield, he's got Malcolm Brown. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Out of the gun, gone. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 41-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. 41-yard line. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. On the handoff, this is Brown. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. A shotgun snap for goal. Get the connection there. It's incomplete. Run away and incomplete. Brings up third down and four. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. on this drive but not able to get a third and now they deal with fourth down now Sam Sloman is on from the left hash this will be a 52 yard attempt and this one is no good he missed it but there is a flag down he might get another shot at this the kicker called on fourth down what a big break leads to a first and ten from the red zone now goal this will be caught just inside the ten and they work this near the five will be stopped at the six 15 more there and they're on a roll it's another first down first down first and goal at the six yard line first and goal from the six Stepping up, and he's going to take this one in for the Rams touchdown. Jared Goff scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in. Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback, 
It takes you a while before it gets to the quarterback. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> Only a couple there, so he'll be brought down about the 28. He was brought down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Throwing on second and eight, Trubisky. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. It's a gain of six. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 28. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the Rams' 25-yard line. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. On second down, Montgomery. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Brings up the free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. Yeah. 
So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. From the gun, it's Trubisky. The L.A. defense up to snuff in coverage there, pushes this to fourth down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. Eddie Pinheiro on now for the Bears. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So a special team's mistake on the field goal try leads to a new set of downs inside the red zone. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. And they are going to score on the football return. Touchdown, LA. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14, Bears nothing. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will make it into the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They go play action. Trubisky. No. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field, get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Fourteen, nothing. The score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Fourteen, Bears, nothing. So after the sack, here second and fourteen. Throwing here, Trubisky. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 14. From the shotgun is Trubisky. That's complete to Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Always thought Allen Robinson was a high flyer from his days at Penn State, and none of that has changed with the Chicago Bears. If you throw the ball out to the perimeter, if it's a 50-50 ball, more times than not, he's going to come down with it. And some say he was the victim of some subpar quarterback play last year. He didn't let that bother him at all. Stud 98 catches and over 1,000 yards receiving. Allen 
practice and just goes out and plays and plays hard each and every week. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense. Looking at the clock, don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. And he is going to lose yardage here. That second down play nets a minus four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. The Rams on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Goff fakes the give to Brown. He'll throw. They got him in. It's Woods. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First in the well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Goff now looking to throw. They'll find Everett there, complete. Not much there, only a yard. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Still nine remaining on second down. Now gone. And it's incomplete. Goss pass. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's now third down and nine yards to go. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Again, golf. Ends up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears' D. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. At the 22-yard line. So second and four from the 22. Now Trubisky. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, I haven't met an NFL player yet that doesn't use criticism as an edge, and Jimmy Graham has heard that a number of people think he's near the end of his career. And he didn't put up the numbers he should have put up in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to put a huge chip on his shoulder. Nice catch there. He wants to show flashes of that form that he exhibited early in his career with New Orleans and Seattle. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he is not happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. 
Now it's Trubisky. Steps away. And now he'll tuck it and run. They get 15 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Brings up second and one at the 37-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Play action. Now Trubisky. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Micah Kaiser able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Robinson's got it. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They stopped him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. And there's a familiar sight, Khalil Mack putting a quarterback down in the backfield for another sack. I know he only had eight and a half sacks in 2019, so a lot of people wrote that off as, hey, what's going on with Khalil Mack? You do realize he's getting doubled and tripled on just about every snap, but that was the first time since his rookie year of 2014 that he finished the season with less than 10 sacks. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. on third down. They've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun. Here's gone. Throwing for his running back and he's got it complete. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists with their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. On the stop was Aaron Donald. But that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Six yards left on second down. Play action. It's Trubisky. Out to his left. He'll try and run it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. On the keeper, Aaron Donald on the stop. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and one. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And able to get 
this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Tackle made. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. At the Rams, 37-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Nice gain there by the second-year runner out of Iowa State, David Montgomery, who often finishes his runs moving forward and knocking defenders back. He finished tied with Josh Jacobs for the most carries by a rookie last year. But what the Bears need from him? Improve on his 3.7 yards per attempt. If he gets that up into the fours, look out. He can control the game with his running. runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. From the 17, Trubisky, and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Now it's Trubisky. Buying time to his left. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. incomplete. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Graham slotted out to the left. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Here's Trubisky. That is hauled in by Jimmy Graham. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown, Graham. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. 
The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before hey, half. Yeah, They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. L.A. set to take over again on offense. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try to move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And his throw is incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. the gun. Golf. And he'll find his target. Woods. It's complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout. Their second as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him with his third and one. A shotgun snap for Gone. He's caught the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. So possession goes over here on the punt. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. The Chicago offense set to get started. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Second and eight coming up. Now Trubisky to throw, and he finds his tight end, Graham. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On 
First and ten, it's Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Second and four. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And this carries into the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Well, this is caught by Gann. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 27-yard line. Eight yards to go on second down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Brings up another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That third down conversion, good for 23. I would think that by now people are done underestimating Tariq Cohen because of his stature when they see him at about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, but he can do it all. He can run inside, run to the perimeter, but he also catches the ball really well out of the backfield. He had more receptions than carries last season. He kind of looks like Darren Sproles, who's been his inspiration as an NFL player. In 2018, Tariq Cohen was a pro bowler as well. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Again, it's Trubisky. And Graham's got it, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That catch good for five. It's third down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down. Now, I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Out of the gun, Trubisky. It's complete to Robinson. Give him eight on the play, and it'll make it second down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. To throw again on second down. Trubisky completes it to Miller. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 18. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. first and of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Number 29, Tariq. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. At the 13-yard line. Second and six. They try again with Cohen. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside, and finished off the runner for a loss. On third down, Trubisky. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The Bears have to be excited about the rookie out of Notre Dame, Cole Komet, a Chicago native. He actually selected number 85 in recognition of the Bears 1985 NFL championship team, the Super Bowl champs. And by the way, his dad was on the Bears practice squad at one point. So this kid falls right in. Now Trubisky lost the football. And have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10 yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you. All right, so if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth league. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Goff. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing... That's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. It's a gain of Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, this is Montgomery. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. The connection made. It's Graham. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A six-yard pickup. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Trubisky to throw. That's complete to Robinson. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 17-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's going to take off with it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Bears on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and three. Trubisky will throw. This is caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And an important one that is as we are tied now early in this fourth quarter. Oh, and you just can't do that. 15 yards on the roughing the kicker call. Absolutely inexcusable. The kicker's in a defenseless position, and he just gets taken out. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He starts the drive by handing it to Brown. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. 
He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, here's Goff. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Van Jefferson was the intended receiver. And it's third down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Throwing on third. Gone. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Good coverage there, holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. To throw on second and six, Trubisky. Again has it complete. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a play fake here on first down. Caught on the left side by Ginn. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. At the 45-yard line. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On second and seven, Trubisky. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. could not get the playoff in time. Frustrating for the head coach. Frustrating for the offense. Sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. Now Trubisky. And that is incomplete. He certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And 
this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Now the Rams' offense, they work their way back on the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first down, it's gone. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. Fancy footwork at midfield. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Looking deep downfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot. Went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Out of the gun. Gone. And he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Go off to Woods as the Rams move the chains. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? You know, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve we saw right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll get this one to come complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 28-yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. Gone. And he's got the hook up here, it's Woods. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 17-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And part of a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, gone. tight end, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. second down. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Second and 10. Goff fakes the give to Brown, he'll throw. And he is gonna lose yardage here. It'll wind up being a huge loss on the play. Tackled back at the 28-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now, but they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. At the 32-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Trubisky to throw, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They read zone coverage there and thought there was some space to send their guy right into the middle on a slant, hoping he would get lost. Instead, they read it quite well and closed quickly. 
They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing here, Trubisky. And Gim's got it. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's good. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back their own. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? From the 41, Trubisky, and he finds his tight end, Graham. This is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 30. 11 yards there, first down. First when this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Aaron Donald just so strong, they can't block him. And he records the sack. And there's another sack by Aaron Donald. No surprise to anyone. The two-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. He could have easily been the three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. I'm not sure anyone in the league has a true answer for him. And one of the best parts about his game. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. Through an opening. And there he goes. 20. And they are going to score. tie ball game defense comes up huge that's the definition of a big play for this defensive unit not something that you see that happens often to a guy like let's say jamal charles remember 2015 fumbled it in a key situation roby right yes yeah, exactly right bradley roby picked it up and altered the ball game it's up and good and that'll make the score 21 14. the score rams 21 bears 14. into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So now Trubisky and the Bears. Down 21-14. 2.07 remaining. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Dancing to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Three yards remain for second down. Out 
the gun. Trubisky throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn, and it's third and short. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. At the 37-yard line. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Trubisky to throw. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Micah Kaiser on the tackle. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 30-yard line. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He's back to throw. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up fourth down. First things first here, they got to pick up the first down. And remember, it is fourth down, so they've got to pick up a completion here. Otherwise, this one's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. The catch made by Miller. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And it's caught! It's a touchdown! So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Oh, and you just can't do that. 15 yards on the roughing the kicker call. Absolutely inexcusable. The kicker's in a defenseless position, and he just gets taken out. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. And the Rams getting set to go now. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game. You don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Brown, the ball carrier. The tackle made by Robert Quinn. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 27-yard line. And 
and we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And takes this near to 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still rush coming, and he's taken down. Bilal Nichols breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> the throw over the middle, taken in. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They should have put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Opening drive of overtime and now facing a third down and six. Big play coming up. From the gun, here's Goff. was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That Johnny led to the sack. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Ball had a 48-yard punt and made even better by a loss on the return. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done, now part two. It's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. The Rams take over first down. After the interception, here's goal. Quick pass to cut. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 16 yards is the pick up there and a first down for L.A. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Roquan Smith, the Bears' leading tackler last season, makes the stop. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, the guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Malcolm Brown, the ball carrier. Danny Trevathan on the tackle. A gain of two brings up third and seven. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Here's a give to Brown. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. 
And now the Bears going to signal for another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So this one comes down to the right foot of Sam Sloman. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. We were just treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game. And it's rare that you get a game into overtime that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.